What's up, family? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, Mr. Twy. Today, today, today. Hey, I'm scared, scared. Man, check this out. All right, guys, we got this video. It's called Muslims Are Angry on Intrigal's Lead Actress. All right, let's get into it now. Remember, this is your first time on the channel. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe and join the Watois family. Also, before we get started, start it. Put a like on this video. Remember, if you got a video you want me to react to, get down in the comment section. Post the link and I will get to it, man. Let's go ahead and check this video out. With Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, I hope you are well. Turkish historical fiction series Irtubul Resurrection has become highly popular around the world, originally aired between 2014 and 2019. It is based on Muslim August Turks in the 13th century. It revolves around the life of Irtubul, the father of Osman, the founder of the Ottoman Empire. Though the show was banned in Egypt, it remains popular in Pakistan and various other Muslim majority countries around the world. Pakistani's Prime Minister Imran Khan asked PTV to air Irtugul in Urdu which now has 3 million subscribers on YouTube in just a couple of months. The makers of Irtugul point out that the show is inspired by characters from their history. What this effectively means is, inevitably some of scenes and episodes may be fictional for story writing or entertainment purposes and some of the plot lines may not entirely be in line with historical records. The characters on Ertugul are fantastic, viewers have their favorite, someone they can relate to or recognize in others. Some characters you love, others you loathe, making you almost forget that these people are just actors doing their job and they are probably nothing like the characters they portray. It is important for all the viewers to understand the difference between real fictional characters on a medieval 15th century period and actors and actresses enacting a drama soap. Turkish actor Isra Bilgik who plays Halima Sultan, got trolled by Irtugul fans as she uploaded her picture on Instagram, wearing outfits opposite of what her character in the series wore. People are pleading Isra, an actor to behave like a good Muslim woman, are commenting Astaghfirullah on her pictures and are being hateful. Here I have found some of the comments online. That wasn't it though, Pakistani fans are no more to spare Irtugul, played by Ingin Altan Duziatan, either and criticized the actor for posting a picture on Instagram with his dog. Brothers and sisters, let me clear, this does not mean that I take Isra Bilgik's side or say that she is right. Many Pakistani Muslims are emotionally shattered by her behavior on Instagram. But they should remember that Isra Bilgik is a model and actor, not really Halima Khatun, the woman of a Turkish legend, the wife of Irtugul Ghazi she plays in Dilri's Irtugul. She has played several roles before Irtugul too. Viewers need to stop their impression that her on-screen character is her real self. Brothers and sisters, it is her choice that she has taken acting and modeling as her profession despite being a Muslim. But that does not give people or viewers the authority to slam her or anyone in the comments and teach people how to be a good Muslim. Every adult knows how to live their life. People have choices, some people are blessed with Hidayah and some are astray. But to be hateful and scorn someone just because you are given a chance to doesn't mean you are more good of a Muslim. Criticizing people is very easy, but it only creates distance, spreads negativity and causes tensions. Yet people do it often. It's been statistically prone that we are very indulgent towards ourselves and much harsher and judging towards others. Brothers and sisters, don't make it personal. The manner by which you say things affect people. Try to give constructive criticism. When giving constructive criticism, separate their work from their personality or at least give that impression in the way you phrase your discussion. The focus should be on the problem, not the person. You never know when that person may turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The problem is never the person. So brothers and sisters, what are your views on negative moral policing of people on social media? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum. <laughs> salam bro. Alaikum salam bro. Ramadan Mubarak to you bro. <laughs> um, I will put since Islam's Link in the description. I want you guys to check them out in the description. 
It'll probably be below this video. Uh, I'm subscribed to their channel. I got my post notifications on on their channel. Uh, what I do want to say now is that um, <sighs> I hundred I a hundred percent agree with what our brother said. We have to understand that we we do get tied up into people that play certain roles, right? There will be a movie that you're watching or a television show that you're watching, right? Or even a YouTuber <laughs> that you're watching. Well, I know as far as me, I'm, I'm very transparent. So, uh, okay, so maybe not YouTube, maybe some YouTubers, but uh, movies and TV shows, right? They're playing a character. And I have gotten that way before, that I've watched the video before, I've watched the movie, I've watched the television show, and the actor or the actress, I fell in love with the role they were playing, and I believed that the role they were playing was them, even, you know, even in real life. And, you know, we do get tied up in it, we do fall in love with the actor or the actress with the role that they're playing. And then when, you know, when it's real life now and you meet them in real life or maybe like how it is now you know she's you know she's a model so that's what she does and to me I 100% agree with it even with the other actor him posting his dog he loves his dog what's wrong with him posting his dog you know um, we all know in Islam they prefer you to have cats uh, you know because the dogs they say it's unsanitary you know uh, it's not sanitary. So, what I do want to say to my fellow Utswa family members is that um, when you fall in love with a character, remember that that person is playing a role. Now, it takes you to go and find out more about the person outside of their role that they're playing and see if you want to continue following them if you decide that you do not want to continue following them then that's your decision to unfollow or to you know maybe not watch the show again but trust and believe that the person that's playing a role obviously they have their own personal life and you there's no one on earth that has the authority to point at someone else and say that they're acting as a or they're being a bad Muslim or being a bad person because at the end of the day we're all sinful human beings you know we all make our mistakes so if you are one of the people who have posted a bad comment on someone's page um, no matter who it is or if you said a bad comment to someone in real life uh, you should go and ask for their forgiveness and say sorry and um because remember that's you know, that's part of your zakat, that's part of your deed. So you want to make sure that you don't have too much shaitan involved in you while you're out and about. You don't want shaitan to take over you and then you start making certain kind of remarks to people, right? So with our family members, please, I want y'all to stay safe. Stay mindful, stay intelligent, stay blessed and stay beautiful. And guys, I will see you tomorrow, inshallah. So please take care. Stay safe. What?